Hey, I'm Stacy Sadler and I'm the author of the book Oral Personalities and today we're going to talk about a venturing crystal as a potential layer of white around a person. Um, you can look that look up what that color would mean. Um, venturing crystal, I call them the avatar and you'll you'll hear why shortly. Um, a venturing crystal is in the spiritual family. They're a new crystal and spiritual family means that they are operating primarily from energy so high energy or vibe intelligence i never quite know what to call that type of intelligence um it could be i guess you know intuition um the ability to know something instantly um without necessarily being able to explain it um the ability to get a sense of something quickly and um, so kind of like a fast read on a situation and there's many there are more colors of light so so in the layers of light potentially around people there are more in the spiritual family or the energy family than in any other family much more um, and I think that with the time of life that we live in, it makes sense. Uh, many of them are new colors. Some have been here since 2012. Others have been here longer since, um, you know, the 80s. And um, and then there's two that have been here much longer than that, actually three. So just keep in mind that um, you'll be hearing a lot about those in the energy family. But the avatar gets its own space. Uh, they have no problem taking up space. They uh, they're a little bit like a, a world unto themselves. They, uh, they are, the energy is extroverted. So uh, the personality, depending on what the other layers are, they might be highly verbal or not, but the energy itself is very extroverted energy. Meaning um, that high action, the high engagement, the high um, experiential, um, but we're talking about from an energy place. So that's going to be different than if it was coming from logic or different if it was coming kinesthetically, because it's coming from an energy place. Um, they, the venturing crystals, something as I look in the titles of them, boundless minds, um, iron wills, um, need to learn delivery and speaking. Uh, if you, if you think about it, um, there, things are, passing through them so rapidly, uh, their experience in this world, and then they're needing to engage quickly to kind of demonstrate the energy that they're filtering. Um, they could probably look like almost hyperactive people or um, they just can look different than what is actually happening for them. Something that's important for them is to figure out how to kind of rein in within themselves so that they can know where they want to launch from next. There's a lot of such immediacy with them and such fast action inside of them that they can often feel kind of bewildered and just untethered. And so um, really important for them to center themselves even on a daily basis and, and, and make some decisions about themselves in their life for that moment. Um, other than that, like they can be such a fun energy too, and very, very igniting and very friendly. Um, and, and then it just changes and they move, they move to another space and another high engagement level that's energetic. So they kind of, you can think of them as like they follow the energy. So uh, this is one of the new crystals. So they're, they're here as of, you know, the the 80s and maybe some come from the 70s but mostly from the 80s and onward but this is this new energy that's here and i kind of sometimes think of adventure and crystals as like the epitome of the millennials um with that just kind of like go forward and i can have and i can do and i can be and then they just jump all the way into it so it's really kind of i feel like kind of flipped flipped the world a little bit on its head as far as like how human beings are showing up. They've kind of said, we're, we're doing it differently and we're gonna have fun while we're doing it.